Beispiel. In this short video, I'll be showing you how to configure Casting K10 by Veeam to use the Red Hat OpenShift OAuth server and an identity provider, in this case Okta, to provide authentication for the Casten dashboard. Here we see an OpenShift cluster with Okta configured as an OIDC provider. If I log in with my Okta credentials, I can see I have full cluster admin privileges within OCP. I'll navigate to Operators, Installed Operators, to see that I have the Casting K10 operator deployed using token authentication. I can authenticate using a bearer token retrieved from OpenShift's copy login command, but let's configure the OpenShift's OAuth server so we can leverage Okta for authentication for both OpenShift and Kasten. I'll switch to a terminal to create a new service account in the Kasten IO namespace, which I'll name K10DEXSA. For the service account, I'll add an annotation for the OAuth redirect URI, which is the URI for my K10 instance, followed by slash dex slash callback. I'll create a secret that will be mapped to that K10 DAX SA service account. Once created, I can retrieve the token for that secret, which I'll be using shortly when updating the configuration of K10 via the OpenShift operator. Next, I need to retrieve the certificate chain for both the router in the OpenShift ingress operator namespace and the external load balancer in the OpenShift kube API server namespace, which I'll write out to a local certificate file. I'll create a config map in the Kasten IO namespace from that certificate file and name it custom CA bundle store. Switching back to the OpenShift web interface, under installed operators, I'll go to the K10 tab and select the deployed K10 instance to update it. I'll select the YAML view to update the configuration using the service account, secret, and config map I had retrieved earlier. I'll click save to apply the updated configuration and switch to workloads, pods, to monitor the pods in the Kasten IO namespace. Once the pods have finished restarting, I can navigate back to the Kasten dashboard and sign out for my token authenticated session. When I click sign back in, I'm met with the Red Hat OpenShift login. I'll select Okta, which will automatically authenticate me to the Kasten K10 dashboard. Because Kasten is a Kubernetes native application, we're able to leverage Kubernetes native RBAC authorization. This means we can use namespaced role and non-namespaced cluster role to Kubernetes objects, as well as be extremely granular in how we assign privileges. To learn more about configuring authentication within Kasten K10, visit docs.kasten.io. And if you haven't looked at how K10 can provide backup, disaster recovery, and application mobility for your Kubernetes apps, visit us at the link on the screen to access your free, fully-featured license today.